Yeah, I'm Dave Mackay, uh, dairy farmer on the, the Nambucca Valley here at Missabody. We milk um, 500 Jersey cows on about 600 acres. And uh, me and my wife and four kids are working here now. And one full-time bloke works here. Basically a grass-fed operation. Um, we milk them through a 50-unit rotary. We've been, from the 500, we're getting 2.7. I think we were down to 2.6 last year, million litres. At, uh, which I think it was uh, 220,000 kilos of milk solids. We grow rye grass in the winter, uh, rye and clover, chicory, um, plantain, a bit of leafy turnip, uh, a few turnips, and then in the summer we've got summer grasses and uh, soybeans. And we feed about uh, four to six kilos of grain in the bales. And been using Natrimin for probably 10, 12 years at the moment. Um, still use a bit of chemical fertilizers, but uh, use the Natrimin as a base fertilizer once a year. So, so our previous fertilizer history was a lot of super, phosphate, uh, muriate of potash, probably a ton of lime to the acre every four years. And I think we put MO super on every four years. We used urea, not a lot of it, uh, probably only 100 k's to the hectare a year. Um, and our cows were, you know, they, they were doing well. They were doing well. I think we, since we've used Natrium, we certainly haven't had as much milk fever, but that does fluctuate. So I can't say that's the end of it, but uh, our production per cow is around the five and a half thousand litres. Um, or as I say, we get about 220,000 kilos of fat um, of solids, solids a year. Yeah, there certainly are struggles in dairy and, and uh, probably the hardest or the biggest challenge is, is finding good labour. We've, we've in, a, in a spot at the moment where we've got all our kids are working for us, so that's fantastic, they're, they're great workers. But, you know, it probably won't last forever, but uh, yeah, people don't seem to want to work the hours that dairy farmers do, and uh, fair enough. Um, so that's certainly a, a, a challenge. Um, weeds are always a challenge, and, 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 and the weather, and the weather. So the yeah, rainfall uh, is certainly not as reliable. One, one time we used to irrigate from September to Christmas, and put the pipes away and you wouldn't get them out till September and you never irrigated through the winter. But you know, there hasn't been, in the last 10 years, there wouldn't be a month that I haven't irrigated in. It's, it's certainly changing, whether it's climate change, I don't know, or it's just the weather, but it is the weather. But uh, that, that's certainly a challenge. Um, and the price of milk is certainly a challenge. Everyone's gonna say that, but yeah, no matter what you're in, in farming, the price is always, a challenge. Um, you know, I could say if they put it up, everyone would want to do it, but yeah, I won't say that. But yeah. Since we've started using Natrimin, um, we put 300 kilos of Cal S uh, a year on, and we still plant with a, a, a mixed fertilizer, same as we did before. We don't put much lime on anymore. Um, I have used a bit of calcium prill. Uh, but we certainly don't do the ton to the acre of lime anymore and our soil tests are fine. Uh, they've held quite well. I have been putting a bit of pee on of late um, just to keep it up there. Whether I'm doing the right thing or not, I'm not sure, but it's, it seems to be going okay. And, but uh, I would say, I, yeah, our fertiliser costs probably have come down a little. In, in the last uh, 20 years, I suppose, we've, uh, we've gone from a Frisian herd to a Jersey herd. So our production with the Frisians obviously was more per, per cow, um, but our kilos have gone up. Our kilos of, off the farm have gone up, so uh, with a straight Jersey herd, you'd probably expect that, but uh, we, we milk a few more than we did with the Frisians. But uh, yeah, our, our kilos are certainly up. Our fat and protein, well, there's times we get our, pro our fat up over 5% and our protein, you know, it can get to 3.8, 
but uh, just at the moment, I think we're on about four, six, and three, five, I think it is. So, and that's, uh, that's just off the grass. Uh, you're getting fertiliser off ag solutions, there's no dramas. Um, you usually ring up and it's here in the next week. Uh, we buy bulk, uh, so yeah, they organise the trucks and it's delivered here and without any problems at all. If it's too wet, they usually ring up and see if it's too wet to come and we can cancel it, no worries. So yeah, it's, it's no dramas getting product from. It's always good to have someone that knows a bit more than yourself about certain things, you know, nutrition, pastures and um, uh, yeah, agronomist side of things. And um, So yeah, Roger's been very helpful over the years. So, uh, not that we see him that much, but uh, when we need him, uh, he's there. We did soil tests on these two paddocks here, first two paddocks, and they only ever get natrimin. And the reason I do that is because I run the, the springers there, and I don't want to hit it with urea or potash or something and, and get milk fever. So I just put them there. And the further flat down there was planted with soybeans and and I, I had put a fair bit of chemical, like uh, mixed fertiliser on, CK55S. I put a couple of tonne on that paddock. And we did a soil test of the, these two flats and that. And they both come back exactly the same. I, I mean, you've got to try new things, haven't you? you? You can't just go back and say, well, my grandfather did this and I'm going to keep doing it. But, uh, so I, my grandfather, dairy up the road here and he, I can always remember him saying it's a waste of time irrigating if you don't put fertiliser on and here I am irrigating when, and not putting fertiliser on so uh, admittedly we've put 300 kilos so I have put fertiliser on but not a, not a chemical fertiliser like they'd be talking putting nitram or urea on to get a bit of grass after the water and there's no doubt you, you do get it but, but, but if we put the water on and when it rains, it'll go mad. I've noticed that the, the paddocks hang on, like in the drought better, and after wet weather they recover better too. I've noticed that. Um, yeah, I've got soybeans at the moment, I don't know how they're surviving, but they are. But, the, but in saying that, I, you know, I've planted peas and lab lab and soybeans over the years, and I've never seen a paddock um, burn off, but it's it's looking close. I tell you, uh, it's looking close. I went over and rode through them this morning. And they look good at the morning, but jeez, they turn blue in the middle of the day. So uh, success is, is a different to everyone. It's different, but yeah, certainly a um, good family life. Uh, and as far as being a successful dairy farmer, if I am, I would say that planning is paramount and knowing your cows is certainly a big thing. If you don't know your cows or you don't keep an eye on your cows. So there's, there's certain tools nowadays you can keep an eye, eye on your cows and without even seeing them, you know, be on your phone. So the, the, nowadays there's no excuse for it really, but yeah, we, we certainly take a lot of notice to our cows, um, uh, you know, how much they're milking, whether they're hot or sick or whatever, so that, that's certainly a big thing and, and obviously the pastures uh, have got to be up to scratch, otherwise you will get no milk. But, uh, that, that'd be it, I suppose. Take notice of your cows and your pasture. Look after your cows, I suppose. That's the, that's the one. Yeah, well, I've been asked uh, the, about the future of the dairy industry for nearly 40 years. And 40 years ago, I would have said, I'm very positive about the dairy industry. But the older I get, there's little, and I try not to be negative, but there's little things creep into your head and I think, oh, what's happened with the dairy industry? But, but look, I, I am still positive about the dairy industry. If you want to be in it, I think, uh, 
I think you'll go all right. If you, if you, if you like doing it, you know, I think you'll go all right. Um, certainly the, the price things at the moment, the dollar a litre milk and all that sort of stuff is, is, uh, is a worry, but uh, the long term, our long term plan is to, is to be in it for as long as we can. Whether the kids take it over, I'm not sure, but um, at this stage we're in it for you know, a while yet and uh, wouldn't be in it if I thought there was no future. So I, I think it's, it's fairly positive now. <laughs>